10 reasons why Vietnamese women make the best wives. They want a manly man. Vietnamese women want you to be the leader, show strength, show leadership. Vietnamese women will always be willing to follow if they feel they're following a strong man. They don't like to be asked, what do you want to do today? They'd rather you decide for them, but they'll let you know if they disagree. They want to know your plans first, give them something to work with and let them modify it if needed. Most of the time they're perfectly happy to do whatever you like. Indecisiveness is very unappealing to Vietnamese ladies. To get a true woman, you need to be a real man, a gentleman willing to open doors yet strong enough to split wood for the winter. If the couch is your best friend, you probably won't catch the attention of a Vietnamese woman. Look at this boy, he's 10 years old and maitre d' of his family's restaurant. He's been working for two years. Talk about being a young entrepreneur, this kid's killing it. Hey look, I'm talking about Vietnamese women wanting a manly man, and I'm riding on the back of a scooter taking pictures. Number two, they're looking for a husband, not a boyfriend. Vietnamese women are respectful and honor their men. These ladies will stand up for their man when things get rough. They expect you to do the same. All Vietnamese women are looking for a man to be and act like a gentleman. You'll need to treat them like a lady, hold them in high regard. Treat them with respect and you'll get the same. There's no such thing as feminism in Vietnam, there's simply no need for it. Vietnamese cultures shun promiscuity. The village or local community will often shun a woman that's unfaithful to her husband. Unlike America, these women are closely tied to their family and extended family. To embarrass the family is a very serious matter to most Vietnamese ladies. So it's fair to say that these women are looking for a man to marry, not casually date. They're very serious about this. Don't play with their emotions and you'll be richly rewarded. Remember, when you marry, you're joining their very large family. You don't just get the wife, you get the whole family. Look, I'm taking a picture of her from a distance. She's gonna see me in a minute. Number three, they are petite, feminine, and take care of themselves. They dress conservatively, trying not to show off skin, yet most clothing Vietnamese women wear are tailored to be very form-fitting on their attractive figures. When outside in the sun, they always cover up as much of their bodies as they can. Most of the ladies in these pictures are wearing hats, long sleeve shirts, or coats. It's not cold there, they're just trying to protect themselves from the sun. The masks you see them wearing isn't for cold or pollution, it's primarily to keep the sun off their faces. Everyone you see here on the beach showing skin is from Russia, as, as far as I can tell. We're in an ocean front resort city that's catered, that caters to Russians. It's funny to see these Vietnamese people covered from head to toe at the beach while these tourists are wearing as little as possible. Talking about entrepreneurship, these ladies will bring fresh lobster to your deck chair, cook it in front of you. They sell fresh coconut milk with a straw and fresh corn on the cob. If you're truly daring, you can try squid jerky. It's usually on a stick. Mmm, what a treat, squid on a stick. You don't rarely see a fat Vietnamese lady. They prefer to look, they prefer to look nice for their men, even after they get married. They want to make their men proud. They take great care of their skin, eat a diet consisting mostly of vegetables, herbs, rice, and fish. Very low fat. Number four. They exude confidence. Vietnamese women do not fit in the American woman's mold of getting married so they won't have to work for a living. They want their own independence. They expect to be working when married. When they have their man, their job, and their family, they have all they want. Vietnamese ladies don't waffle back and forth on decisions. They make a decision and they stick to it. Generally, they know what they want and go for it. Once having it, they cherish it, whatever the it is. It goes for the type of job, the choice of vehicle, home furnishings, and clothing styles. Most Vietnamese women are minimalists. They don't like walls full of pictures or rooms full of stuff. They don't collect things they don't need or can't use. To a Vietnamese woman, a collector's plate is just plain stupid and a waste of money. They won't throw away your Star Wars Pez dispenser collection because they're yours and she respects you but you'll never convince them that it's anything other than garbage. They like to know that, that you're thinking about them while you're dating. And once you're married and they feel secure in your relationship, they don't want you to call them or text frequently. They know you love them. You're repeatedly telling them just annoys them. 
most of the ladies in these pictures aren't posing for me. They're generally posing for somebody else because of the big holiday. I just happen to be there with my camera and snapping pictures of them. That's generally why you see them all looking in different directions. But how can I resist taking pictures of beautiful ladies like these? They were gorgeous. Number five, they're goal-oriented. At an early age, Vietnamese women were taught to study hard, to do well in school, to go to college, and only after that are they ready to start looking at the opposite sex and romance, to plan for a family while looking for a great paying job. Vietnamese women are not stay-at-home wives. There's too much to do in life that they finally want to experience. They're very aware of how much everything costs, and they know they need to make money to buy what they need. Vietnamese women will not want to out-earn you so as not to embarrass you, but the more you make, the more they're going to try and make. I met my wife, my future wife, through online dating. She invited me down in 2015 to Vietnam. She asked me to go during the Tet holiday because there's vacation time off there. All of the women in Saigon are dressed their absolute best and they go around different different areas. The flower show in Vietnam, there's a street dedicated to flowers and all of the ladies want their pictures taken for family, for friends, for future boyfriends. Um, the women there are dressed their absolute best. They're, they're on their best behavior. They look absolutely gorgeous. They look like the flowers that are in bloom all around them. Phenomenally beautiful women. If you have a chance to go down to Vietnam, try and go down during the Tet holiday and visit any major city. Number six, they're family oriented. Although she'll want to be independent and have her own job outside of the house, she'll also be eager to have and raise a family. A Vietnamese woman will always put her family needs above her own, even if that means she may have to sacrifice her job for the good of the family. Vietnamese women don't use strollers. They carry their kids to stay close to them. The only stroller I saw there was being pushed by an American family, and it looks sad. A Vietnamese woman will stay connected to her paternal family long after marriage. In Vietnam, family is everything, all inclusive. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins out to the third generation. In Vietnam, about half the young ladies work outside of the home to help support their family. The other half, that are stay-at-home moms, have some sort of business in the home. A small store, a cleaning service, teaching English, teaching music, daycare, anything that they need to do to support their families and to keep themselves busy. Most of the stores that you see in these pictures on the side of the road are just stores run out of the family's houses, something to keep the woman busy to be able to bring in money for the family. Number seven, they age gracefully. Look at the pictures and guess the age of these ladies. They often look like young girls or teenagers until you see their children. Remember, Vietnamese women generally don't even think about romance until after college, about 23. If you want to know a Vietnamese woman's age, look at her children. At 20, they're at the peak of their beauty, but unlike American women, the downward slope is much more gentle. Most Vietnamese women are still quite beautiful at 60 and 70. Gray hair is a sign of maturity and grace in an Asian lady. But if she dyes her hair, you'll be hard pressed to guess her true age. Old Vietnamese women lived a very hard life. They can be forgiven if they look a little rough, but the ladies in their 50s and 60s still look like they're in their late 20s. Vietnamese ladies in their 60s and 70s you see in America are beautiful. You and I wish we could age that well. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a lady like that next to you in your old age? In this section, I tried to arrange the pictures showing the youngest girls first progressing to older ladies. But at times, it was hard for me to tell. Some ladies I thought were young teenagers until I saw their daughters with them. Remember, this is Vietnam. Ladies don't even think about romance until after college. So if you see a lady with a young child, it would be very safe to, it would be a very safe bet to assume that she's at least in her mid-20s. Number eight, they have a deep love for their country and traditions. Vietnamese women are very loyal to their country not the form of government that currently rules them, but their country. The country that's lasted for thousands of years, as Nam Viet, then the Cham Empire, then French Indochina, and finally Vietnam. They're not communists, they're Vietnamese, and they always will be. 
They've been conquered many times by many people. They take parts of their captor's culture, what they like, and reject the rest. If a Vietnamese woman moves away from her country, she will want to go back and visit frequently. You must be aware of this and don't deny them. Vietnamese women will always be Vietnamese women, even if she becomes a citizen of another country. But that's why we love them so much. Vietnam has been trading with the world since before the 7th century. The Cham people in the city of Hoi An has been on the world maps long before Columbus first sailed the Seven Seas. Hoi An was an established world-renowned trading port before Muhammad and the Islamic religion was born. The country is deep with history and thick with historical monuments. Even with as much destruction as befallen the country, a great deal of the early history of Vietnam has yet to be discovered, untouched due to the thick jungles in parts of the country. In the last 30 years, there's been a major turn in form of communism to pure capitalism in Vietnam, and the country has seen a massive revival in its economy and standard of living. Only in Vietnam will you find a theme park devoted to the concepts of Buddhism. The Vietnamese government discovered that the world was interested in the ancient history of Vietnam and would even pay to come and see the ancient monuments. So they've launched a campaign to restore some of the great marvels of the past to draw in tourists and the almighty dollar. You'll find Catholic churches, Buddhist and Hindu temples, Muslim mosques, and Christian churches throughout Vietnam. There's no main culture. Everyone has their favorite faith. None are followed that closely, but all are respected. In Vietnam, you'll see wealthy houses built right next to very poor traditional houses. Could be that the children have earned great wealth while their parents living right next to them want to remain traditional. I don't know the reasons, but it isn't an unusual sight to see there. Number nine, they are faithful. Vietnamese women may have friendships with other men, but they always stay with the one that brought them. Vietnamese women don't look at the grass on the other side to see if it's greener. <clears throat> they will do all they can to make the best of where they are. Vietnamese women rarely show affection in public, with the exception of holding your arm. They don't want to appear available to other men. They've been conditioned to keep what's private, private, unless they see another woman as a threat, and then they'll go all out to mark their territory, which is you. If they're being mistreated in their marriage, and they feel they've done all they possibly can to save the marriage without any success, only then will they start looking elsewhere. I've included pictures in the slideshow to show you the beautiful country of Vietnam, how absolutely phenomenal the place is. It changes every few years. I was there in 2015 and in 2019, and the entire country changed dramatically in just a couple of years. It's growing like crazy. It's expanding like crazy. I can't wait to go back there again just to see how great it's changed in that short period of time. Vietnam's absolutely phenomenal country to go and visit. If you have a chance to do so, please do so. Number 10. They're frugal. Submissive, feminine, dainty, respectful, not boastful, proud, or flashy are all words I would use for a Vietnamese woman. I've learned the greatest respect for Vietnamese women, not just my wife, but all Vietnamese women I've come to know. From about 1847 to about 1978, Vietnam has been, has been in some sort of conflict, forcing families to become very creative to do what they need to do just to eat. The Vietnamese people have learned the hard way the value of a dollar, or a dong. In Vietnam, people often work six days a week, and a good percentage of Vietnamese women hold more than one job. Before I went to Vietnam to meet my future wife, I had the impression from pictures and stories on the internet that Vietnam was still a very backwards, oppressive, communist country. I want to do a series of videos like this to dispel these myths. I added a number of pictures here to show you that Vietnamese has nice shopping malls, great indoor grocery stores, with plenty of food. It's a bit more expensive than the street vendors, so most people buy from the street vendors. But if you love Vietnamese women and aren't a fan of the food, like me, there's proof that there are plenty of American food restaurants there, as well as French and Italian. Vietnamese women will be intimately aware of where every dollar goes. Embrace their frugality, because it will help you both become very wealthy. I challenge you to go back through the slideshow one more time to look closely at every woman I photographed. You'll notice very little makeup, lipstick, jewelry, beyond the occasional earrings, or inexpensive bracelets. Number 11, the Aoyai. The Aoyai, you may have seen clothing from China and India that looks similar, but the Aoyai is specifically Vietnamese. What an incredible wardrobe. It shows traditionality beauty, femininity, grace, and is still a very workable wardrobe. The slits are up the sides, allowing a full range of movement, yet not revealing anything they shouldn't, allowing for their modesty. 
the tops are tailored to be very tight and form-fitting, while the bottoms are loose, flowing, and graceful. It's both a dress and pants, both elegant and utilitarian. The Aoyai is an icon of Vietnam. You see a woman in an Aoyai and immediately know she's Vietnamese. Yet inside the basic shape and style of the wardrobe, there's infinite customizations and personalizations. Very few of these women posed for me. Most were just living their daily lives. A few may be models, but the vast majority were just real Vietnamese ladies. Yeah, I was in Vietnam during holiday and the Chinese New Year, a week-long celebration. So most of the ladies were dressed in their best alleys and posing for family pictures. But these ladies are not professional models for the most part. They all hold real jobs and live real lives while still looking this incredibly beautiful. Thank you for watching my very first video on YouTube. I love Vietnam and had taken about 40,000 pictures over two trips in 2015 and 2019. Some even came out well. Through my trips to Vietnam, I've fallen in love with the people and the country. If you liked this video, please hit the like button to let me know that I should make more. I'm thinking of making another few videos on Vietnam and maybe a few videos on how to properly find a wife. I did it, and I know I can help you if that's your goal. Please leave me comments below to let me know which direction I should go first. If you're Vietnamese and enjoyed this video, you can reply in Vietnamese. I can have my wife translate for me. Thank you very much.